here early November when we start looking ahead to the upcoming winter season and try to look in the crystal ball, read the tea leaves. What kind of a winter are we going to have? We always consider, is there an El Nino or a La Nina? Will the current drought pattern last? Will that impact the winter? And what about the trend of milder winters that we have seen? Well, first things first, the Pacific sea surface temperatures in the central part of the Pacific Ocean are warmer than average, a lot warmer than average. So that tells us that there is an El Nino and it has direct impacts on our weather pattern across the country. This is a typical El Nino winter weather pattern, milder than average across the North and the Great Lakes and wetter than average from California across the southern states and out to the east coast. That's where the strongest Pacific jet stream will be. This is the forecast on a bar graph for the probability of El Nino lasting through the winter. Right down here, this says December, January, February. A 100% chance of El Nino lasting through the winter, fading as we get into next summer. Then, is it a strong, weak, moderate El Nino? Well, you've heard about spaghetti charts, and these are the things that we look at when we're forecasting hurricanes. Same thing here. Bunch of different computer models, all plotted on a chart. And again, down here, December, January, and February, everything kind of runs in the range of one and a half, two to two and a half. That means it's a strong or very strong El Nino. Uh, not coincidentally, this is the Climate Prediction Center's outlook for the winter. Temperatures above average across the north, moisture higher than average across the south, but it doesn't have a really good correlation across Nebraska and also Iowa. One thing that's good, those southern states really need the moisture as we have extreme drought occurring across a lot of the south. Well, there really isn't a trend of milder weather. Recent winters have been fairly close to average. Of course, we haven't had much snow the last two winters, but three winters ago, we had 48 inches of snow. Those were all La Nina winters. And just for perspective, you have to have 51 and a half inches of snow just to crack the top 10 list of snowfalls for seasons in the Omaha area. Last year, 13.8 inches of snow. The National Weather Service did some really good work on this. These are the recent strong or very strong El Ninos and how much snow fell in Omaha. See a lot of these numbers, uh, a big spread, but the average of them, 35.6 inches. That's going back about 70 years. What does that mean for 23-24? Well, I think certainly more snow than last winter. Probably take a while to get going the snowiest month of January. A lot more chances of freezing drizzle and freezing rain and above average temperatures. So to sum it up, a total snowfall 32 to 36 inches. Kids, I think four days will get school closings because of either snow, freezing rain or freezing drizzle and temperatures about two and a half degrees above average for the winter. So fire up the snow thrower and no truth to the rumor that I'll be changing my name to Bill Nino for this year.